Okay, the pH changes when ethanoic acid is added dropwise to a sodium hydroxide is as shown below. At which point on the graph does pH equals to pKa? So this is the point where it is what we call the maximum buffer. Right, this is the maximum buffer. So you can see from here originally you have you started with sodium hydroxide. Okay, you added uh, ethanoic acid. So over here, what you have is ethanoic ion, right? Because this is a salt. So um, it is A a buffer? So what is present A? So initially, there's NOH, and at B, this is the salt. So at A, you have equal, all right, you're going to say equal concentration of, or equal amount of sodium hydroxide and CH3COO minus. Right, so this is definitely not a buffer. Okay, this is definitely not a buffer. A buffer must have a weak acid and a conjugate base, or the weak base and the conjugate acid. This is a strong base, so it's not a buffer. Okay, so let's look at the next part. So this the in fact uh, I'm going to just tell you uh, exactly. So the buff the max buffer is actually at D. Okay, why is it at D? So this is how you look at it. The first uh ten cm cube right. The first ten cm cube of the acid that was added. All became the salt okay all became the salt all right and then the next 10 cm cube okay the next 10 cm cube of the acid that I'm adding doesn't react anymore because the reaction is ended okay so which means at point D the amount okay the amount of CH3 CO minus will be equals to the amount of CH3 COH right so which means they would also have the same concentration so if they have the same concentration right you have uh, so I say I call this a weak acid and I call this the conjugate base right so if you have equal amount this is your maximum buffer all right so that's how we do uh, this question okay let's move on to the next part this is the uh, answer okay uh, I'm just gonna maybe uh, I'll run through uh, just a sidetrack a bit just to show you something over here Right, I drew this nicely. So if the question was in the reverse, so you started with ethanoic acid in the beginning and they added sodium hydroxide, you realize that where is the buffer? Okay, in this case, where's the buffer? So um, this at this point, all this all the ethanoic acid will have been neutralized to form CH3COO minus Na plus. Okay, so in fact, for this question, if you started the weak acid on the in the conical flask, right? So you end up over here, right smack in the middle. Uh, I want this right, right smack in the middle. Okay, so maybe like if this is like 20 and this is 10. So at this point, you have equal amount of the weak acid as well as the conjugate base. All right, which means actually this point is your MBC, your max, max buffer capacity. All right, so it's a slightly different form uh, the other question so normally if you have uh, a weak acid starting here and you add a strong base uh, this is where your maximum buffer will be right 